In this full tutorial for beginners, I'm going to show you how to use an AI voice changer to change your voice live and for a recording. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is visit voice.ai. This will take you to this web page where you need to click on the big button in the center of the screen, which reads, get started for free. This is where you will get your download where you can install the voice.ai program. Once you've installed the program, you will be faced with this screen. You have two options, create an account or sign in to voice.ai if you already have an account. I don't yet have an account, so I'm going to select create an account and walk you through that process. It will open up a browser window where you can sign up using Discord, Twitch or Google. In this example, I'm going to sign up using my Google account. Here I can select my Google account and I can sign up by giving the permissions I'm going to select continue and then it will launch voice.ai once you've signed up. Now I want to take you through this because there's something very important on the screen and you will be faced with this question as well. It says, tell us how you plan to use voice.ai. In this example, I'm going to select content creation, but there's something very important below right here. It reads, get 5,000 free credits by turning on training and helping this community grow. You can turn off training at any time. In this, I'm going to keep this checked on because those credits are free and it's going to be helpful later on in this tutorial. Let's select content creation. Here you can see Here my, you can voice, see is my being voice is being used. Now there might be now feedback, might be from, feedback what from what you're hearing. You're hearing. Uh, as you can uh, hear me, talking. Can hear me so, talking. So this example, I'm so going, this to, example, select I'm going to select continue. So you don't get so you don't get to. So my voice was being trained into the software so that my voice can be used by other users in voice.ai. The more I talk into the program, the more it will train my voice inside of the program. But do not worry, you I don't agree. need I to don't have this to have public. This public. It says all set. I'm going says, to select, set, let's, 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 let's go. At let's go. At this point. Here we are inside of the voice.ai software and we're ready to get started. But first, let's show you exactly what's on screen so you have a good understanding of how to use voice.ai. You can see in the top right hand corner we have our credits. Now I have over 5,000 credits and that is because I opted in to training my voice inside of voice.ai. That gives you 5,000 free credits which we will be using in just a moment. If you don't opt in to training your voice to begin with, you won't be given those 5,000 free credits. I'll also be walking you through how to add credits to your account which you will be using to train new voices inside of the software. In the bottom right hand corner of the software window, you can see my microphone is available. I currently have the HyperX Quadcast microphone that I'm using inside of the voice.ai software and it's the same microphone that I'm talking to you with right now. Let's say you have an external microphone plugged into your device to use in voice.ai but you do not see it in the bottom right hand corner here. What you will need to do is select the drop down and this will show any external sound devices that you can use as a microphone in voice.ai. If you don't see your microphone here, I suggest that you go inside of your sound drivers or sound settings and make sure that you can see your external microphone or lav microphone in those options for your sound input on your device. You can also see that we're currently in high quality. I'm going to click this drop down to see what else we have. We also have high speed. There are two differences here that are valid to mention. The fastest model, but not the sharpest, if you use your CPU. That is what it means by high speed. High quality, the sharpest model, but not the fastest. It uses your GPU. Now what this means is the highest quality is going to be a high quality voice playback. So the sound that you get when you're talking into the software is going to be of high quality. But of course, if you're doing this live, there is going to be a slight delay in the playback of the voice. With high speed, this is going to give you a fast playback of the voice, but it won't be the cleanest voice that you hear. So imagine it as your voice is being filtered through the software and sounding different on the output on the other side. That is what these two options mean. And we're going to leave it on high quality because we're going to do a recording first and not a live. If you want to talk live and you want it to be fast, when you're talking to whoever you're talking to live, 
then you would select high speed, but there might be some issues in the playback of that voice. For example, you may hear some buzzing sounds or a delay or something of the sort, known as artifacts, a bubbling or popping if you will. Now that we've gone through the quality of the AI models that we have, what about those all important voices? That is what we need to have a look at next. In this example, I'm going to select the plus symbol right here to go to the next page because we have some favorites that have been selected for us, but these are not the voices that I want to use or maybe not the voices you want to use using voice.ai. Let's click that plus symbol in favorites right now. Here we have a few tabs available. We have the all option where it will show all of the voices that are available to train. I'll go over what that means in a moment. You have the trained voices. These are voices that you've trained already inside of the software. You have my voices. Now these are the ones that you've uploaded yourself or created yourself. You have the favorites and that's self-explanatory. It's going to be voices that you favorited that you want to use quite frequently or your favorite voices that you want to use with the software. And third party, which of course is going to be third party users that have created voices that you can use inside of the voice.ai software. You can also choose a language of a voice, which is absolutely brilliant for those of you who want to speak in a different language because you will be able to translate your voice potentially. We might have a look at this later on. But just to give you a reference, if we don't, you can see the voices that are available in different languages. That is absolutely brilliant. But I'm not 100% sure if you can translate your voice, which is the reason why I'm not going to confirm that right now at this point, because we're going to begin, of course, with English because I'm an English speaker. There is also a search feature at the top of the voices here. Now I'm going to search inside of the third party tab for Homer Simpson, because I want to sound in this example, like Homer Simpson, a very popular character who I think most people watching this video will be able to recognize. Now there are some Homer Simpson models here that I can use and I can train. There are third parties, and they haven't been rated just yet, meaning that nobody has come across these voices and give them enough rating to give you an impression of the quality of the voice model that has been created. But you can see there are quite a few Homer Simpson models that have been created by third party users. Now with the third party tab, what you need to know is you may need to pay in order to use the third party voices. Let's select one to show you right now. You can see that for third party voices created by third parties, and what that means is somebody outside of the voice.ai software, it might be a user, you will need to pay in order to use the third party voices. And you can see the options that are available right now. You have the starter basic, which is 65% savings for one month beta pro, 15 AI voices, so those third party voices valued up to $84, $29, now down to $19, and you can get that now. And there are other packages also available, including Starter Pro and Unlimited Pro. We're not going to use the third party voices in this example. We're going to click the X, and instead of going through third party, we're going to select on all. Here in the All tab, you can see there are other voices that we can train. We do not have to pay for these voices but let's click on one to show you how this works. You can see that you have to use 4,600 credits in order to train this voice. I'm going to play a sample of the voice before getting started, because I want to hear what this sounds like before I use the voice. This is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting. For optimal results, try doing your best impression. Voice.ai. So you can see that this is the sound of that Homer Simpson voice. Under the All tab, when you're not searching, you can see that we're currently in Recommended. If I select this, you can see Top Quality, Alphabetical, Recently Used, Recently Trained, and Recently Added. Let's select that Top Quality to see what comes up. So here you can see a few options that are currently available. Kratos from God of War is currently available. The option that I'm going to select in this example is going to be, and if he's already here, it should be Morgan Freeman. I'm looking for Morgan Freeman right here. You can see is rated at a 4.5 out of 935 ratings. Let's train Morgan Freeman's voice right now to get started. So now we're training the Morgan Freeman voice, and I'm going to use the Morgan Freeman voice. Now if I select click to record, I can record my voice and it will sound like Morgan Freeman. There is also some options as to the format of the audio right here. So if we select that, you can see we can change the quality of the MP3, but we will need the pro version 
of this software in order to do that. So we're going to select this one right here and we're going to select record. Hello, my name is Anthony Allen, but I sound like Morgan Freeman. Thank you for listening to this quick AI edited audio. You're welcome. See you in the next one. You can see that we had a recording limit in this version of voice.ai, but we've just recorded our voice and now we have the waveform. My name is Anthony Allen, but I sound like Morgan Freeman. Thank you for listening to this quick AI edited audio. You're welcome. See you in the next one. So that is the version of the voice that we've just had, which I'm going to download right now. That's our MP3 version, but we also have a waveform version here, the original. Let's have a listen. Hello, my name is Anthony Allen, but I sound like Morgan Freeman. As you can hear, that is my original voice that we've just put into the program. We can now download our Morgan Freeman voice to my device, and I'm going to download it to my downloads. Let's say you're not happy with your recording. You can start over by selecting this button here, and we can, if we wanted to, record our voice again for another try. So let's go into live mode to show you how you can change your voice live. We're going to sound like Morgan Freeman live. You can see we can calibrate our voice right now. My voice is already being input into the software as I'm talking. I'm also at the moment turning off hear yourself. This is stopping any feedback. So there's not two layers of my voice. You, can, you can't hear yourself while you're talking in this mode while you have this selected. In this example, I'm going to pull this slider to the right hand side to better quality. And I'm also going to select hear yourself. Let's start, Let's the, start voice changer. the voice changer. I want to sound like Morgan Freeman. Voice. I want to sound like Morgan Freeman. I want to sound like Morgan Freeman. Now with a delay. Now with a delay. Now with a delay. So turning off hear yourself, I'll be able to talk again without any feedback or playback. I'm going to pull this to the left hand side for a faster conversion. Now let's have a listen. Let's start that voice changer. That voice changer. <laughs> Sounding like Morgan Sounding Freeman. Sounding like Morgan Freeman. As you could hear right there, there was quite a lot of fizzing sound and background noise when using the faster option. But this is how you can change your voice in voice.ai in live mode, and also how you can record. Let's say you want some more free credits in order to purchase more voices inside the software. In order to do this, you would select this button, this plus symbol next to your credits, and then you have some pay options. You can get unlimited voices for $7.49 per month, or 30 voices for $14.99 per month. But you can also start free. Let's select start free. And here you have a few payment options that you can begin with. You can pay with card, PayPal, Amazon Pay, PaySafe, and a few more other options. Let's say you want some more credits so that you can train more voices inside of voice.ai. There is an option for a referral link. And when you share your referral link with friends, you will get 5,000 credits when they join voice.ai. And you can see this in the top right hand corner right here. When you click the link option right here, it will be copied to your clipboard. You can paste and share this with friends. And when they join, you will get 5,000 credits for you to train more voices in voice.ai. Always remember to select stop voice changer. Otherwise the live voice changer will continue even when you're not hearing yourself. So select this button and that will stop the live voice changer. Let's say you want to switch your voice for Morgan Freeman because you now have Morgan Freeman selected and you began to train that voice. Hovering over the icon here, you can switch voice. And this is where you can use another voice that you've already trained. And of course, you can go into your trained tab right here to select a new voice that you want to use if you've trained any other voices in voice.ai. And that is how you can change your voice in voice.ai. Don't forget to subscribe. And that is how you can change your voice using voice.ai. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.